What's up everyone, I'm Gushy, and in this video we're going to be going over the hunter build that I've been using to absolutely wreck people in Rivals. This build is specifically made to get your ultimate as quick as possible, getting 2 and even sometimes 3 ults in a row. So to accomplish this we'll be going over the gear that I'm using, the legendaries that I'm using, as well as the stats which are pretty important, the techniques in the skill tree, and finally the playstyle is knowing when to use specific items is important to cycle your cooldowns so you have a consistent game loop. So if you guys are interested, stay tuned. Starting off with the gear I have equipped, I'm actually using two right now, both the Skipping Stone Bow and the Bottle of Liquid Courage. Both of these are very important to building up your ult as fast as possible. As most of you might already know, the Skipping Stone Bow ricochets arrows to a nearby enemy if it's a headshot. Because of this, we build resolve both on the initial headshot and the ricocheted body shot. We can further increase the rate at which we build resolve by using the reload animation cancel to fire even faster. If you guys don't know how to do this, I'll put a card here and a link down below in the description of a video that Joey Dominguez put together as he put together a really good tutorial on how to do this. As for the properties I'm using, for the reload cancel, reload speed is the most important property you should have. Reload speed relates to how fast you knock a second arrow right after you fire one. So the faster you can reload, the faster you can do the reload animation cancel. The second property is less important, but I like to run draw speed or something like range damage. For the perk, I have headshot refund, specifically to never run out of ammo, as long as you're getting those headshots. I haven't unlocked the second perk yet, but the helmet piercing ammo should be the best. Next, moving on to the Bottle of Liquid Courage. This states that it refills less health on use, but it refills 1 to 3 bars of resolve. Again, this is super important to get those back-to-back -back ultimates. I always like to use this gourd right after I use my first ultimate to immediately refill my resolve. Because the amount of resolve we get back is random and is a range between 1 and 3, the average amount we should expect to get is around 2 bars of resolve. So that just leaves us with one more bar of resolve to fill up, and then we should have our second ultimate ready to go. Because the cooldown of the Bottle of Liquid Courage is pretty long at 120 seconds, we want to reduce this as much as possible. So We'll be taking cooldown reduction and cooldown reduction on kill. So the more that we kill enemies, the more times we could use this. For the perk, the best option is definitely lucky. The percent chance is really low at 15, but when this does happen, those are the times you get 3 ults in a row. Alright next, moving on to the katana that I'm using. I like using the water katana. I'd say the stance doesn't matter that much, as most of the time you will be using your bow, so just use the stance that you like best. For the properties however, the first one I like to use is ultimate damage, because of course we'll be using our ultimate a lot, so increasing that damage will help us kill things faster. I like to run perfect parry window. This property alone is your main source of healing, and let me explain why. This, along with our hunter charm with the perk blessed arrows, if performed right will get us some free healing. So you know when you get those perfect parries, you get into that slow motion phase? While you're in that phase, instead of going for that counter attack with your sword, what you can do is actually go for a headshot with your bow, and you should be able to get two shots off to heal yourself. Onto the properties that I'm using for the hunter charm, the main thing that you really want is the hunter ability radius. This makes it so that explosive arrow hits a lot more enemies, letting you take out waves of enemies at a time. The second property is kind of up to you. I had Oni damage, but I think ultimate damage is also a good option. This is one of the gear pieces that I did unlock the second perk, and so initially I was going for foul arrows, but I actually ended up sticking with resolve increased, because we can bank an extra bar of resolve. If we have 4 bars of resolve ready to go, we could use our first ult using 3 bars of resolve, leaving us with 1. Then when we use bottle of liquid courage, which will give us an average of 2 bars, we should immediately have our second ult right away. And so I think this is a really good perk to have, so we could save our ult for the right time, and use 2 back to back. Finally for the Ghost Weapon 1, I have a Sticky Bomb. This is another really great tool to build your ultimate as quick as possible. Each enemy that gets caught in the blast radius of the Sticky Bomb, each gives you resolve to get your ultimate. So the most important things you want are increased radius and increased blast radius so you can hit as many enemies as possible. For that second property, you want cooldown reduction on kill. So as you're getting kills, the cooldown of the Sticky Bomb gets reduced as well. Moving on to the techniques that I'm using. Definitely the explosive arrow is the best DPS option for your class ability as it does a big burst of damage to multiple enemies all at once. In perk slot 1 we have legendary specifically so we can use that skipping stone bow and the bottle of liquid courage. Perk slot 2 we have bow and blade. Now if you haven't seen my previous video 
on how crazy this perk is, I highly recommend checking it out. Because with a very small change to your playstyle, you can literally get double the damage with your ultimate with this perk. So definitely check that out and use this perk. Finally, we'll be using All Seeing Eye. Since we'll be getting our ultimate, we want to get as much damage out of it as possible. So having those two extra targets is very important. With that, I'm going to leave you guys with some gameplay of a Rivals match, which is my best time to date, where me and Joy Dominguez finished the game in 6 minutes and 35 seconds. I hope you guys learned something in this video, and if you did, please drop a like, and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of the build, and if you'll be running it. As always, thank you guys for watching, and enjoy the gameplay. And on your rival suffered a terrible curse. And on your approached the shade moved to block their offerings. The ghosts roused and on your the horn all the force of the ghost of war and on the ghost loosed and on you against their competitors. Did the advance of only allies. Fire spirit rose from the bar. compelled a shade to block their opponents.
fires. Como ghost, ghost, prepared the final stand against the advancing demon army. Ghosts emerged triumphant. 